previously. 13 celebrities arrived. Hello, you are the situation. Thank I'll you. try and use Jersey short Shore. words. Hi, Hi. Hi. Michael, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Very famous woman coming down the stairs. King Kempson. Where is he from? You better believe me. And one by one, Jasmine, Cheryl, Brian, Samantha, Danica, you kicked them out. Tonight, Harvey's behaviour is causing a stir. I was like that. Sorry, I didn't look. I thought you crossed the line. That the alarming. <laughs> I can handle my drink. Let me stop you there. I thought it was disrespectful. What I disagree with you on that. Should I put the fags on there? Should I just leave them off here to wind up, wind them up? Oh, gangster. You wanker. Oh, my God. I can't believe they do such a thing. I can't. I'm ready for anyone. And two more housemates. Oh, come on. Fierce the chop. Prince Lorenzo. Julie. Love you, sugar. Love you, man. Thanks, everybody. Leaving our six finalists. <laughs> well done. Dear 22, 9.27 a.m. The housemates are waking up unaware that two of them will be evicted later on today. Julie, Prince Lorenzo and Martin face the public vote. Oh, it's early. They woke us up early. It's not even ten. God. Come here. That's what. We've got to have a day today. We're gonna to have a day. And I really would have appreciated a, good a night's quieter sleep. night, you know, and some sleep. But Did you tell them to start? <laughs> they were under the influence of alcohol, far too much. That would have just encouraged them, and they, you know, amuse them. Yeah. So. Last night, Harvey was a bit worse for wear and bared all. Good night, Ed. Oh! 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 He's sitting on my yo oh, The other dirty. way. Get off! <laughs> oh, it. God! I'm always right. He'll jump. Mm, I don't think he will jump on me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Harvey had too many sweets last night. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> it was only flashing his bottom, he was then bending over. Yeah. And what then was that jumping about? on you and rubbing his bottom on you like uh, some sort of tomcat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was a bit of disrespect, Ooh. but it's up to you guys. He got, um... Was the ad you... in your face? I'm afraid I did. Were you happy with that? What, what, what happened? Did what? you think, find it not disrespectful to you? What? What his Harvey ass? did? I oh, put my head completely under the covers, so I I didn't really see. Uh, I, was I, like I that. thought he crossed the line, but was it Harvey or Ashley? Harvey. Oh, I, I thought I thought he crossed the line. Did you? Yeah. Mm, oh, yeah. I I he crossed the line. To me. Yeah. No, because you were all going. Oh, I was like that. So it didn't. He crossed the line for me of, to, of uh, having a laugh and disrespect. Mm. Alcohol, will not it? Alcohol, yes. Oh, he was, was absolutely, he was absolutely slaughtered. Uh, no excuse. No. No excuse. Ten or seven AM. Some of the housemates are in the garden. Have you, uh, have you traveled America? Yeah. Yeah, I think that they would just, I think they would love your dry humor. No one, <laughs> no one laughed. Really? I did Which, where did you go? I did two lots of gigs in six weeks I did in New York. New York is the hardest place for people to be happy. They just sat there. Yeah. <laughs> no. no way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? I'm a bit of a headache. 
You did quite a lot of bottom work last night. I don't know if you remember. Oh, God. Slightly, slightly alarming. <laughs> That's normal, Julian, if you know me. Bottom work. But you weren't just doing that. I mean, what else were you doing? Bending over. And do you know what else you would do? Yeah, that people's face. With bottom exposed. And rubbing bottom on people. I don't know about like landing on people. Are you you're kidding me? Well, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You may have crossed the line. and Prince Lorenzo are working off the calories. Oh, I drank too much yesterday. Drank too much? I didn't see it. I ate too much shit. Yeah, I ate. Well, I can honestly say no one's impressed with Harvey this morning. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I can't wait to get away from these sensitive ass people. <laughs> so dramatic, Just man. said that. Did they say anything? Yeah. Kempe. What do you mean? Did he say anything? Did you? Was it? Oh. Mm. What did he say? Yeah, that's, that was the talk round breakfast. Yeah. Good for them. Because Julian said to me, are you all right, Colin? I went, I'm fine. And I went, I just think it was really disrespectful. Uh, Martin said. Um, you know, and I was going to have a word with him because, you know, I think he should apologise to you. You know, I just thought it was funny. I won't worry about it. They're just no, no. old and gumpy and yeah. boring. Seriously. Are you pissed off? Yeah, I'm ready for them. Straight up. Do you know what I'd say? You know what the only thing I'd say? You yeah. know what? You need to lighten up. You're so old before your time. Me. Trust me. Too old before the time. Trust me, bro. You know what, brother? Lasted this long and I'm ready for people today, bro. <laughs> Seriously. Let people know I'm ready for anyone. Just let them know that. Coming up. Martin has a word. Getting your ass out is still banter. Yeah. Getting your ass hole out, putting it in someone's face and then trying to rub it on someone. I didn't put it in her face. No, but we're showing it to her. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is disrespectful. Okay. And it's task time. Hello, sailors. Hello. How does it feel to be ship's captains? Yeah, it feels good, big brother. Right, my lover? <laughs> Ten forty nine AM. Julian is giving Julie some pre eviction advice. It is a horrible day. Yep. Mm. I know. I know what you're feeling because it. Um, well, I hesitate to take, tell you, but it gets worse as the day goes on. Lovely. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I, I can always rely on you <laughs> for that lift. Tell you how it is. That was the last thing I needed to hear. So, right, come on, let me concentrate on my tabs. Yes. That has to be. If you need any cancelling during the next 12 hours. Uh, well, you won't be there, so just that's fine. for me. Yeah. Harvey wants to clear the air. Kempi, you know, because, like, you're my, like, our class is my friend in here, innit? Yeah. So, with you, it's like, if you talk to me, yeah. I respect you when you talk to me, do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? But. Obviously, I understand people having um, a moan up this morning about me, which is fine, but I'd rather, I'd rather talk to you because I respect you as a person. Right. But this is my, my point. I can handle my drink and I know my boundaries of people, so I know the sure. people that I can play with. I wouldn't go on Julie's bed. Right. I wouldn't go on Julian's. I wouldn't go on your bed. Right. I know, Let me stop you there, right? I know the characters, yeah? Let me stop That's, you there. Go on. Uh, 
Because I, I was going to talk, talk to you, but on your own. Yeah, right? no, it's, it's fine. I thought it was disrespectful what you okay. did to Colleen. And uh, I thought you... I, I'm not saying it wasn't funny. It yeah. was funny at the time. And, and everyone had, had had a drink, but I thought you crossed the line. And I disagree it, with you on that, but... Yeah, well, that, that, yeah. I know you do, because yeah. you did it. Yeah. But I thought it was... It crossed the line from respect to disrespect. OK. Towards a woman. There's a line between showing someone your ass yeah. and your ass hole. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it was the arse hole that okay. was disrespectful. Yeah, I understand that. Change, getting your bum out ain't disrespectful. It's fucking life, yeah. right? But getting your arse hole out is disrespectful. Martin, if you say it, yeah, like I said, I respect you. You're right, do you understand what I'm saying? But obviously... Well, then, well, then we, we agree. Yeah. We don't we, disagree. We was having banter, like I said. Like, me and Clean have but, a lot of but banter. there's banter, but then there's... Uh, getting your ass out is still banter. Yeah. Getting your ass hole out and putting it in someone's face and then trying to rub it on someone. I didn't put it in her face. No, but we're well, showing it to her. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is disrespectful. Okay. And uh, that was my point. It's cool because it's coming from you. Do you know what I mean? It's coming from you and you, I respect you and that's the honest truth. So. No, but I was going to talk to you on your own about Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It, so. No problem. <laughs> it's a ledge bar. Eleven fifty-four a.m. After successfully passing this week's shopping task, housemates have one last list to write. Just get the cigarettes now. Let's get out of the way. How much are the cigarettes? Seven. Seven pounds. Did I put sugar down? Where's the sugar? Yeah, you did have top. Okay, get uh, get uh, cigarettes. Where? Two packs of regular and two packs of light, right? Cigarettes. Let me go and oversee this important bit. Alcohol, for God's sake. Get your priorities. How many packets have you ordered there? Four. Four. Can you put we need about nine. I know. No. It's ridiculous. That's going to take a whole budget. No. Can, can you put that down? No way. Well, well, all right, but remember word. this, though, um, when you run out, though, guys. We, we, we got three We're going nine. through three packets a day at the moment. Easy. All right, can you just put those down, though? Four. Wait. Fresh tomatoes. 75 cents. All right, hold on. Light cigarettes. I'm not happy That's with four. cigarette count. I'm not. We'll run out. Yeah, there's hot dogs, free-range chicken, chicken drumsticks, free-range thighs, salmon oh, filet, smoked salmon slices. That's ridiculous. Food for about You've got enough eight. food yeah, for get, a week. For, for lunch, get, get uh, smoked salmon slices for two seventy nine. one package. I think we need at least one, need package, six one package. Of one package of smoked salmon I slices for two seventy nine. You can make sandwiches. Can you put one smoke? You can make Why sandwiches. It's only two seventy nine. We ain't gonna starve, that's for sure. Yeah, that's it. That's one fifty. Cool, let me take it. Cheers. Can you read all that, Harv? Yeah. I apologise if you can't. That's right. One pack of facts. <laughs> <laughs> it's seven packs. I'm just going to go in and order you those such packs. You guys are getting two up. each. It doesn't matter how many packs you get, they'll all be gone in one, right? That's true. I know, that's no, what I mean. You just sit there no, and but smoke the thing them. is, Mark, I don't mind when they're going, well, Cheers, they're, they're expensive, just get three, <laughs> but then they will smoke them. Crazy. Well, everyone smokes them anyway. No, but so. we're smokers. This lot keeps saying, well, I'm not going to smoke when I get out of here. And I'm like, well, don't fucking smoke all the cigarettes then, if we're not ordering enough. <laughs> Have you done your list? Not good now, it's a bit of a struggle. I've never seen people get so moody over cigarettes. My gosh. Should I order them or should I not? Harvey, what's been happening about the cigarettes? <laughs> it's like people, they want cigarettes before food. It's ridiculous. I'm not, oh my gosh. Nicotine fiends, that's what I call them. It controls them. It controls their mental state. If I don't get their fags, yeah, they will be pissed. But then that would be good TV, wouldn't it? Harvey, it's your shopping list. It's up to you <laughs> what you tell Big Brother. <laughs> and because we've got about £14 left, because I've lost two cigarettes, I would like apple crumble. How many apple crumbles? Times two. Is there anything else? I wouldn't even mind getting my suit dry cleaned. Because, like, getting your clothes dry cleaned in here is a luxury. Dry cleaning, £5.49. I'll have that, please. That's what they get for moaning about my bum. <laughs> Go 
come on. Twelve eleven p.m. Harvey is attempting to deliver his suit for dry cleaning in secret. Guys, yeah. Is it all right, Harvey? I was just apologising for going on about cigarettes. What's that? I was just apologising for going on about cigarettes. Well, apologising to me? To all of you. Don't I, I, do, I do sound like the dirty smoker going, cigarettes! I apologise. My bum's been the topic of the, the morning. I don't know. Yeah. <gasps> Apparently, yeah, I was disrespectful to you. Who said that part? Yeah. I was cool with it, though. You know that. But I don't mind it coming from, like, Martin, because he's just the way he talks, isn't it? I said to him, I don't agree. He says it was, he feels it was disrespectful to women, which is a bit deep, but I said, no problem, we shaked on it and said, all right, cool, leave it at that. That's yeah. fair enough. Yeah. What's up with the suit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. People was getting so itty-tighty about bags, there were seven bags in there, innit? it? So I went, you know what? Because they wasn't being team players, I'm going to get my suit dry cleaned, and I took two bags off there. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, gangster. I like that. I like that. I, I don't care. Uh, if I, I would have thought of something, that is great. That's brilliant. Three eighteen p.m. Big Brother has called Julian and Harvey to the diary room for today's task. Ahoy there, housemates. Hello, Big Brother. Ahoy. He sounds frisky. <laughs> Today, Big Brother will be throwing you both in at the deep end with a nautical task. Oh. You'll both become captains of the high seas and each lead a team of housemates to build and race a boat. Big Brother has provided you with wow. captain's outfits. You should get changed into these now. Hello, sailors. Hello. How does it feel to be ship's captains? Yeah, it feels good, Big Brother. All right, my lover. Harvey. Your team will be Martin, Colleen and Prince Lorenzo. Julian, your team will be Julie, Ashley and The Situation. You will board your boats and compete in a voyage from one end of the pool to the other. The captain that completes their voyage in the fastest time will win haircuts and colour treatments for their team from a top hairstylist. You're lying boner. Captain He's... Harvey. Yes. What would you like to name your boat? I would like to name my boat, um, the, uh, the, um, Plimovian Express. A fine name. Thank you. Captain Julian, what would you like to name your boat? HMS Nancy Boy. <laughs> HMS Nancy Boy it is. Yeah. The diary room door is now open. Cheers, big brother. The two teams have 45 minutes to create their seafaring vessels. Will Julian's HMS Nancy Boy reach the end of the pool first? Or will Harvey's Plymouthian Express be triumphant? The team whose vessel makes it to the end of the pool in the fastest time will win a haircut from a top celebrity stylist. This is Big Brother. Boat building time begins now. What is that? Dude, that's gaffer tape. What is that? First, making the size first. You're going to take your instructions from me. Why don't you use that cardboard underneath it as extra strength so I don't fall through it? You won't fall through it. Oh, get off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That didn't sound good, guys. Is that right, Captain? Yeah, why not? We don't want you to see. The ass looks a little bit lighter as well, isn't it? All right. Go ahead, man. You got it. And you know what we can see? We shall our best. That boat is going nowhere. I hereby name this ship the Plumovian Express! Yay! May this vessel and all who sail in her travel gloriously and safely upon the high seas. <laughs> hey! Yeah, it's not real glass, it's only sugar glass. Go on, Rush your boat! <laughs> Harder! Other side! Come on, Hal! Come on, other side, Harvey! Come on! Come on! Go on. Go on. Two more! Go. Come on! Yay! Yay. Oh my god, he's drenched me! 
Sheeple. I hereby name this ship HMS Nancy Boy. May this vessel and all who sail in her travel gloriously and safely <coughs> upon the high seas. <laughs> Oh, you fucking go for it, son. Go on, Joe! Go, on, go, 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 <laughs> this is Big Brother. Captain Harvey managed to complete his voyage in a time of 19 seconds. Yes! It won! <laughs> wait, Sorry. wait. Captain Julian managed to complete his voyage in a time of 40 yeah! seconds. Five twenty-two p.m. Julian's winning team are having their hair cut by top celebrity stylists Thomas and Anita Macmillan. Oh, it does smell nice. Yes. Ooh. She's going to pierce your nipples for you as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. I must say I've only got a fiver because that's how much I pay for my okay, haircuts. Done. Harvey's shopping list indulgence is about to be revealed. Well, if it's all right, I'll just have one of yours for now. The storeroom is now open for housemates to collect the oh, shopping and Harvey's dry clean <gasps> suit. You absolute wanker! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> This better be a task, Harvey. <laughs> four packets back. How much bags are there, though? There should be four. It'd be awful if that shirt got some jam on it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> hey, Julian, don't even bother. <laughs> Cheers. Don't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> What are these then? How many have you got there? Enough for me, thanks. Oh, you happy? Yeah, it's just that you lot haven't got any now. Yeah. How's the suit? Good. Stiff? Yeah. Clean, crisp? I'll just take some of them. Well, you'd be full not to. Mm? You'd be full bloody not to. I can't believe they do such a thing. I can. Oh, I can. That's what it's like being a bro. You'll win it anyway. I've hidden them. <laughs> can't believe they do that. I cannot believe it. Why not? Eh? I cannot believe they do can that. Can you not believe that? I can believe anything in this house. Yeah. It's only two days, isn't it? We've got enough for two days. Is the story Morton? Mm. How many packs were there? Four. Julian, are you actually mad? Are you actually mad? I can't believe you do that. And you Julian, are. Julian, do you know what I'm going to say, yeah? Each bag costs seven pounds, yeah? In the two shopping tasks, oh, I've never asked for anything. Ne never asked for one thing. Colleen has 60 fags. Your fags, that's 80 fags for two days. I've never asked for one thing. Yeah, but you know the shopping thing is a, um, a communal thing that we yeah, all but, do. You don't just do something secretly. Yeah, but that's obviously just, that's just to benefit you, my brother. That's just for, your, for what you want. What about what, what your dry want? cleanings to benefit yeah, me? Yeah, but do you know what? Oh, I've, done, I've done both shopping lists, both, yeah? I've asked for one thing. You've asked for all your cigarettes. So there's got to be compromise, because there's other people living Maybe in the house. you didn't compromise, you just did it. OK, that, yeah, but do you know what? 80 fags. Do you know the reason why I've done it? Because I've done it for banter, yeah? There's two days left. I'm sure we can survive between us with 80 fags. It makes you feel any better. I won't even smoke no fags, just so every, you and Colleen can have the 80 fags. I'm fine with that. Yeah, we'll share them. Yeah, I'm, no, but I'm fine, I'm not, but I'm not going to fall out over it, Jules. Like, I'm sure if it's upset you, but I'm sure 80 fags is better than one packet of cigarettes. 
That's what I'm saying. Because I didn't take, I didn't go that far and go, let me just leave them one pack of fags. Because that would be spiteful. Well, at least you've got a nice clean suit anyway. To me, Jews, whether you're upset or not, it's compromise. So feel free for anyone sit there and, and talk about me. Don't bother me. No problem. Have a lovely evening. <sighs> Coming up, the Prince and Julie Gore. Prince Lorenzo. Yeah. Julie. But Julie's presence lives on. No, I knew she didn't like you. But, but I didn't, why? I didn't really know why. At 16 p.m. It's time for Prince Lorenzo, Julie and Martin to get ready for tonight's eviction. What do you think, white pants or jeans? You know me when you're in your white. So you think I should wear the white pants? Oh, no yes. No jeans? Yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah. definitely. I'm nervous. You know, no one likes to be rejected in, in, in a way when you're not voted to, to stay. It's a feeling of rejection. It, it hurts a bit knowing that that might happen. It hurts that I might get booed. And I'm okay, you know, I'm fine with it. I am. I just want, you know, my eyes nice, makeup. Yes, the slap I'll do that for you. To go out, that's all. As a 70-year-old disabled pensioner, I really did not think for one minute that I would still be here. That, to me, is a, a fantastic achievement. I fucking hope you unpack that bag later. <laughs> Hey, if, if I don't, it's been a laugh, you know. Yeah, well, that, 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 let's do with that then, because I don't want to do stuff. I'm not really nervous, I wouldn't say, but I'm excited, you know. I can feel an extra little bit of adrenaline in me. I'm kind of resigned to the fact that it's going to happen one way or the other, and uh, I just want to get it on. All the best, dude. It's going to be a big night tonight. Oh, can't be that fun. <laughs> don't start. Fucking is. Yeah, that's definitely it. I can feel it. Come on, you've made your minds up. You must really like disabled pensioners. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brother House, this is Brian. Julie. Martin. Prince Lorenzo. Your time has come. For the last three days, the great British public have been voting to save. I can now reveal the celebrity with the least votes and who's the sixth to be evicted is... Prince Lorenzo. Yeah. Celebrity Big Brother House. I'll see you guys Friday. See you Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to you see you Friday. I love you, baby. Okay. I love you, sweetheart. You too. The Big Brother experience for me was about the people in this house. Have fun. <laughs> see you Friday. Without these wonderful people, I would have wanted to leave the day I got here. And I'm so glad that I was able to finally bond with them, understand them, and get to love them. Where can we go? Uh, it's your moment, bro. This is your moment, bro. This is your moment, bro. I've had an incredible time. I've learned so much. I want to change this experience for the world, and I'm just happy that I that I stayed here as long as I did. Oh, yeah. That is no, loud. Really? That is yeah. loud. Oh, I'm glad you got that. Tell you what a nice geezer. What a yeah, nice amazing. geezer. Oh, from day one all the way through. Yeah, been the same all the way. What a solid man. So happy for him, and that cheer was massive. Wasn't that fantastic? Yeah. I hope I get a cheer. And they're not still chatting. God. Oh. 
Big Brother House, this <coughs> is Brian. <coughs> Julie. <coughs> yeah. Martin. Your time has come. For the last three days, the great British public have been voting to save. I can now reveal the celebrity with the least votes and who's the seventh to be evicted is... Julie. Thank you. Love you coming with me. Love you. She was a big presence and um, I felt that she was the, the biggest star in this year's Big Brother. Love you. You know I do. Time. Love you, sugar. You come here. Love you, Michael. Thanks, everybody. It's been an absolute privilege to be part of the Big Brother experience. Yes! Love you. It is just an amazing thing for me to have got this far, and it's something I will never, ever, ever forget. Why are you gay? Try not to smile. Love you, love you. Bye. Bye, Julie. What you see is what you get. Get it, got it, good. Well done. Oh, don't have your back. <laughs> Well done, you. Well done. Get it, got it, gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> Eleven twenty-four p.m. Julian has taken Julie's favourite seat in the smoking area. I feel it's what she'd want. I feel it would be what she would want from you. Yeah, from definitely you. <sighs> Could Lisa. I think if fucking... I sat there, the fucking steam would come out of her ears. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be a clap of thunder, I know it. There was definitely, there was definitely. We'll see her Friday. There was definitely a bit of hatred there. I know. I don't know why, but. I don't. I, I definitely saw. I honestly, bit. don't. And I ended up like a. Pathetic fucking. Well, <laughs> no, I knew she didn't like. But, but I didn't, why? I didn't really know why. And I kept going in there and going, it's. She can't possibly love us all in the first 48 hours, I'm sorry. It's everyone. You know, I love the story of your mate and your husband. And I was going, why would she love that story? It's. I met him in a bar. I thought he was a prick. What's romantic about that? You know, she loved my necklace, and I thought, mm. And then Big Brother said, do you not think you should maybe talk to Julie about it? Oh, and I said, would, yes. no, because I don't know whether it's just my paranoia, to be honest, in which case I'm going to feel really bad. Martin has come to talk to Big Brother. I'm really pleased I'm here. I will just carry on being myself, you know. Did you expect to go? Um... I, I'll be really honest, um, I, I, I will never lie to you, um, there was a little bit of me being up against Julie in the final two that my mind flashed back to la last week when we were sitting on the sofas and I heard lots of get Julie out, get Julie out. Um, yeah, I would have been surprised if, if uh, Julie had stayed and it, it, not me. How does it feel to be in the final? feels great to be in the final. It feels really good. It feels like um, I've accomplished it. When uh, I, I, I first signed, it was a bit like, I thought it was like selling your soul to the devil, you know. But it's been a crack, absolutely. I, I've enjoyed all of this uh, experience. And um, I'm pleased to have experienced the whole thing and getting through to the final just kind of caps it off for me and I wouldn't have liked to have left the boys you know um, the three kids out there um, you know I, I wanted to be part of them coming up it finally sinks in for Colleen and Harvey oh my god I've made it to the final and as the situation would say ABG always be grateful 
11.50 p.m. Big Brother has called the final six to the diary room. to the final <sighs> honest to god every single eviction or nomination i thought this is me i'm going so to be sitting here making it into the final is just more than i could ever 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 have wished for and hoped for and thank you you know i wouldn't have thought at the beginning that i would last more than a few days but um i've been through so many different feelings about the experience and um, so to get through to the final is marvellous. I come in the house and everyone was like who the hell is he <laughs> and I've just been myself and hopefully coming to the finals the people love me for me. Uh, I'm really grateful to you know just uh, make it to the finals that was definitely one of my goals and you know however it ends it ends and, you know, gonna smile when I come out, hopefully. <laughs> you know, I've been a fan of this show for, forever, but if I went away and I never actually experienced what the final was like, I'd regret that. So, um, I'm really pleased I'm here. Just to get to the final and just let the, the, the public um, decide that outcome, you can take me in no particular order. I'm just grateful for getting to the final. And as the situation would say, ABG. Always be grateful. Bang! Oh! <laughs> Bitch. Come on, man, you got to look at the bright side of life. <laughs> Ugly. It's making me feel brilliant. <laughs> Are you calling Kay? Yeah. How very dare you. Every day you know something's going to come along that is fun. Without the task, I'd go mad. Standing in the light till it's over. Are those real? These. I was dreading the tasks before I came in here, but actually they um, give the day a focus and you think, oh, good. Well, this is fun, isn't it? You are gone. The funniest task for me was the shopping channel. And here it comes. <laughs> oh, I <I'm> so <laughs> This is a no. new experience. It's been a while. Well, Julian Clary didn't know he had it in him. Don't let him fool you, he knows what he's doing. Poor Colleen. He's gonna splash your face in. <laughs> More tools. Good performance, <laughs> man, good performance. Oh, yeah. to be a god. My favorite task has to be playing Zeus in the gods. This is such a bad game. Oh, it is, it is, but, uh... You gave me the power to, for, for, um, for my voice to be heard in this house and control people. <laughs> of course I love that. Especially when I put the situation in the store cupboard with Lorenzo and Danica. Oh my gosh. That was, I was, we, we was in sight in trouble and you gave us that power. <laughs> Obviously, me and Danica was like a uh, roller coaster up and down every other day. I'm sure that was entertaining to watch. <laughs> she doesn't fancy him. She just uses me. He's just jealous. He's getting me on straight. I'm not your girl. I think you'll have a girlfriend by Christmas. But I really think Prince Lorenzo was just like a parking space, just temporarily used once in a while. Apparently, one person said. Oh, you should have felt the impact of that pie in my fucking face. Well, this is what I mean about me and Julie. Why does she think that I would hit her harder with a pie? She's never liked me. Don't think you're special. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a <laughs> It's never a dull moment with Julie. Oh, shut up! Are you being played? I would say yes. I don't like that. Mike, if you've got a problem with me, just tell me. I just don't think I like you anymore. I think things will be a lot clearer once the titties are out the way. That's beef! That's war! 
they see how close we are. You know what I mean? Your fans and my fans and Harvey's fans are all together. That's a big band of brothers right there, son. You know, we've been together since day one. We've never talked bad about each other, and it's only fitting that we walk out together at the finals in no particular order. All the best, little brother. Ashley McKenzie is my brother for life. We kill your hand, dead. <laughs> Harvey is real as you can be. He's got heart of gold. In my own way, I look up to him and he does the right thing at the right time. Bromance. We've all got bromance. <laughs> it's just been an amazing time with two of my best friends in the house and all three of us in the finals. <laughs> Love you. I've never actually won anything or got to a final of anything on my own. And um, here I am at 47 in the final of Big Brother. I think if, it, if you get to the final day, then you've had the whole experience. And um, that is happiness enough, probably, for me. I'm already happy with being in the final, so I've already, I've already got the, I've already got the cream cake, so I'm happy with that. But then if you crown me the winner, that's just like putting the cherry on top of the cake and then putting cherry sauce around it. It's, it, it's like wow, it's too much. Winning would mean the world to me, but uh, making the finals is. Um, is a dream come true. So in no particular order, however the fans, the public, and Great Britain see it, um, I'll come out with a smile. Winning to me would be unbelievable due to the fact that I've had people doubt me in my life. And it just proves that I'm actually someone. I would like to add a great big thank you for letting me stay in this house. It's been incredible. Uh, journey and fantastic pleasure and it's been my favorite show for the last 10 years and to come in here and take part has just been been brilliant but big bro thank you thank you for having me yes Tomorrow night, one celebrity will be crowned the champion of Celebrity Big Brother. Who wins? You decide. From a landline call, 0901 61617 and add the number of the housemate. From a mobile call, 65058 and add the number of your favourite. For Ashley, add 01. For Colleen, add O3. For Harvey, add O5. For Julian, add O7. For Martin, add O9. For the situation, add 13. Calls cost no more than 36p from BT landlines or any mobile. Calls from other landlines may vary. Voting closes in tomorrow's final. For full terms, go to channel5.com slash bbvote. Stay tuned for Bit on the Side, where Emma will be joined by Gemma Collins, Julie Goodyear and Prince Lorenzo. And gladiator turned life coach, 